that's where I saw the leprechaun. Right, a leprechaun. He told me to burn things. You know, you learn some fascinating stuff by making things burn. So what I've got here is a four-figure balance that weighs to point one of a milligram. So that one there is a milligram. And to put this into perspective, a typical aspirin tablet weighs about 300 milligrams. That'd be 300 there, or, or 0.3 of a gram. Now, to put this even more into perspective, I'm going to weigh a single drop of water. Now, a drop of water typically weighs about 10 milligrams. So that's uh, 100 or maybe a gram. So let's see what we can do. Yeah. Single drop of water, boom, comes in at about seven to eight milligrams, and another one, boom, slightly bigger that time. So our drops are uh, coming in here at about seven and a half milligrams. So what did I show you all that? Well, we're going to have a play with this stuff now. This is acetone. Uh, it's used as a solvent in organic chemistry, and it's also nail varnish removal, would you believe it? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a beaker. Nice empty beaker, I'm going to put it on the balance, zero it up. Then I'm going to get some of my acetone, and I'm just going to put that in the beaker. Just a little like that. Now, acetone is quite volatile, uh, which means that it evaporates quite quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good shake here. And what that's going to do is it's going to establish a vapor pressure. And a saturated vapor is when the molecules are evaporating at the same rate they're going condensing back down again. And the reason I did that is because acetone vapor is quite heavy, such that I can actually pour acetone vapor into this beaker. And there you go. That's almost, that's almost the same mass as a drop of water that I've just poured of acetone vapor into this beaker. And just to prove that it really is there, I should go back to a fairly convincing zero. However, it gets more fun than that. Now, acetone is quite flammable, and I want you to watch very closely when it burns as to what happens to the weight here, okay? So first of all, I'm going to get a good lot of acetone vapor into this beaker. There we go. See if we can get up to 15 milligrams. Oh, good boy. So that's the same mass as two drops of water. And now, I'm going to set it on fire. So watch the weight when I set this on fire, okay? So instantly you see the weight goes negative. And the reason the weight goes negative is because when it burns, um, the molecules have the, the, the mass is conserved, of course, the mass doesn't go anywhere, but the molecules get very hot, which means they expand. And as they expand, they push all of that dense, cold air out of the beaker, which means that it appears lighter. And that's the same principle that drives the internal combustion engine in your car, and it's what makes hot air balloons rise. Cool, eh?